This week's message, given by Pastor Stephen Yun at the Sakasana United Methodist Church, June 25th, 2023. This Sunday celebration message is Reflections, based on 1 Corinthians 12, 1 to 11. The scripture reading is 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verses 1 through 11. Brothers and sisters, I don't want you to be ignorant about spiritual gifts. You know that when you were Gentiles, you were often misled by false gods that can't even speak. So I want to make it clear to you that no one says Jesus is cursed when speaking by God's spirit. And no one can say Jesus is Lord except by the Holy Spirit. There are different spiritual gifts, but the same spirit, and there are different ministries and the same Lord. And there are different activities, but the same God who produces all of them in everyone. A demonstration of the spirit is given to each person for the common good. A word of wisdom is given by the spirit to one person, and a word of knowledge to another according to the same spirit. Faith is still another by the same spirit, and gifts of healing to another in the one spirit. Performance of miracles to another, and prophecy to another. The ability to tell spirits apart to another. Different kinds of tongue to another, and the interpretation of the tongue to another. All these things are produced by the one and the same spirit, who gives what he wants to each person. This is the word of God for the people of God. Would you join me as I pray? Loving, gracious God, we are grateful for all the blessings that you have given us to to this church, to our Sokasana UMC. May the words of my mouth, meditations of my heart be acceptable to you, a rock and our redeemer. Amen. So church had a picnic and invited the whole community to come. A church leader placed a basket full of apples on one end of a table with a sign saying, take only one apple please. Remember that God is watching. (laughs) The other end of the table was a plate of cookies where one of the children had placed a sign saying, take all the cookies you want, God is watching the apples. Friends, don't worry, we didn't put any signs for our picnic today. God is watching, but don't care about how many hot dogs you will be taking today. Hope you all can join us for a picnic after the service. You know, Christian theologian Bonhoeffer wrote, God has prepared for himself one great song of praise throughout eternity. And those who enter the community of God join this song. What is this song resounding throughout eternity about? What does this great song of praise sound like? And how are we as a community of faith singing this song today? And what is our part in this divine symphony? Since last year, I've had a privilege of attending music concerts several times thanks to uh, my children's involvement in orchestra and band. These orchestra bands are formed at the beginning of school each year, and they get together at least once a week for practice. And I remember when uh, they had their first concert in school, it was a very simple song, easy song they played, but it was still hard for most of them just to read the music and play the notes correctly. However, at the end of the school year concert, I was so proud and impressed with the development of their performance, their improved coordination and musical unity over the year. As they have practiced and regularly have invested time and effort, they not only have honed their musical skills, but also have learned how to better listen to each other and synchronize their playing following the conductor's cues. This happened when each of these students entered this community of music and became part of it. As some of you know, I love music and I have also had the privilege of being part of a special orchestra that was formed 
170 years ago. I'm a newbie in this orchestra, so I know only the part of its history. But think about how many changes have taken place over the years. 173 years with members who have joined and have gone. All the concerts they have performed in this once a week throughout the years. Over 9,000 times in total. More recently, during the pandemic, their performance continued, still continued online. Of course, it wasn't easy, as we all can understand, but they did. I guess most of you know by now who I am talking about, because I'm talking about us, Satasana United Methodist Church, which is God's symphony formed back in 1850. As each of you enter into this community of faith, you have, became, you have become partakers in this divine symphony through worship and service. You have joined in the great songs of praise that has encompassed people of God from generations to generation. As we learn through our sermon series, When the Holy Spirit Moves, each of you who embraces relationship with Jesus Christ, you are given the gift of the Holy Spirit. Not only that, you receive the gift given by the Holy Spirit, the spiritual gifts given by the Holy Spirit, as we read from 1 Corinthians today. We are gathered here this morning to celebrate these gifts, the spiritual gifts given by our Lord. In his letter to the Christians in 1 Corinthians, the Apostle Paul talks about nine spiritual gifts. Words of wisdom, words of knowledge, faith, gifts of healing, working of miracles, prophecy. The list goes on and on. The spiritual gifts are life-changing gifts freely given by the Holy Spirit for the common good. One thing we need to note, though, is that they are used not to save us, but to enable us to teach and nurture others, including our children, and to build a church that is divine symphony. In a sense, the way these spiritual gifts work, nine spiritual gifts work, is like how the pipe organ works. Do you know how the pipe organ produces sound? The key is wind, the wind. Our organist Audrey uh, will probably explain much better than me, but the wind that is fed into the pipes causes the air to, to move and produces beautiful sound. That's how the uh, pipe organ works. Likewise, it is the work of the Holy Spirit that comes like wind that allows us to make sound as the body of Christ. Just as a pipe organ consists of various pipes that produces different tones and pitches, the gift of the Holy Spirit comes with a diverse range of gifts, abilities, and graces. Each gift is unique and contributes to the overall symphony, harmony of the divine orchestra that is our church. We know this is how the organ works, but sometimes we forget the truth that the multiple pipes work together to create beautiful, harmonious music. No matter how often, how high, how low it is played, each of these different pipes are meant to complement one another, fostering musical harmony and unity. Likewise, as God's symphony, we need each other's presence and participation to join in the glorious song of praise that God himself has prepared. The gift of the Spirit are intended to be used in harmony within the church, that is the body of Christ. The fact that you have a certain gift or role in our church doesn't necessarily mean that you are performing it in accordance with the fruit of the Holy Spirit that we talked about last Sunday. In other words, our spiritual gifts 
come to us not just because we are spiritually mature, but because they will help us grow as more mature and faithful disciples of Jesus Christ. Friends, as we mature in our faith and grow in our experience of serving God, the Holy Spirit enab enables us to recognize His gifts and use them to build up the church for the glory of God. And this morning I want to invite you to ask yourself these questions for reflection. What do I enjoy doing in ministry? What ministry in my life does God seem to be blessing? What gifts do others see in me? I want you to think about these questions today and throughout this week. Remember as you embrace the invitation to join the community of Christ and use your gifts and abilities for God's kingdom, for, for the common good, you join in the great song of praise that spends throughout eternity. So friends, let our lives be a living melody resounding with love and worship and obedience to our Heavenly Father. Together as a community of believers, may we offer our voices, our hearts, our gifts and talents, our lives as an instrument of praise, forever glorifying our God in this divine symphony. Amen.